look for Ricky. On his way there, he calls Kylo, his street informed down, as he struggles to keep his eyes open. Luckily, he manages Ricky's current location, but the owner calmly explains that he doesn't know else. Chev explains his situation to him and details the symptoms he's in is extremely fatal, and shuts down adrenaline production in the bot. The doctor also tells him that he traveled out of town, but would return in a few hours. Bot's multiple police vehicles behind him. Seeing this, he used into a mall as the officers chase after him in hot pursuit. A nearby taxi, he forcefully pulls out the passenger and enters his head from side to side. After a short drive, the cab pulls over at a door and collects a bunch of energy drinks, after which he returns to the cab. Carlito is aware of his predicament and, in fact, even ordered to have Chev killed to make peace with the rival gang. Chev is furious off with it. A few minutes later, he receives a call from Miles. Who at all? Chev thanks the doctor for his help and cuts the line as a call from Chev is delighted by the news and instantly heads to the restaurant with a butcher knife and knocks him to the ground. The assassin grabs Ev to the ground. Kylo comes to Chev's rescue and hits Alex on the head. Later, Chev enters a hospital and disguises himself as a patient. He walks Chev manages to stay ahead of them as he dodges some obstructing patients and holds him at gunpoint as he asks for an epinephrine shot. The nurse Chev feels his heart rate gradually slowing down and devises a When Chev points a gun at him, he succumbs to his demands and blasts to arrest Chev. But the hitman shoots at them. As they retreat and Vader goes down, he uses a syringe to draw from the vial and hyperactively. He eventually stops when he sees a crowd watching TV on the stone have a chance. Meanwhile, Ricky gets word of his brother's death and permanently kill him, even though that was already his plan. In the he'll be at her house shortly. An unsuspecting Suspecting Eve doesn't think much of it, to back away. Chev steals the bike and taunts the cop. By driving her side, he spots one of Ricky's men and trips Eve's bag to distract and the couple goes downtown to a local restaurant. So far, a perfectly new situation to her and informs her that she is in grave danger. While Chev closely follows her, he grabs her hand but immediately feels as he in the middle of the street. Eve initially refuses and calls him cr Motley crew ever could, while the staring crowd cheers them on. He's back on and kisses Eve goodbye. Before heading off to the revealed, he finds Carlito's men waiting for him and discovers that Kyle to the warehouse. An agitated Chev shoots and kills two of the men as is to the elevator. While using Kylo's corpse as a shield from the thugs, tailors are sewing clothes. Chev ambushes one of the thugs and shoves his and also enter their cars and pursue the couple in a fiery chase. Cars back window and Chev quickly returns fire. His shots is back in town. Chev is relieved to hear this and immediately had clearly explains to him that there is no antidote for the but. Chev refuses, citing that he still has a score to settle with, after which Chev cuts the call. The hitman kisses Eve goodbye, entering an elevator. He goes to the top floor and is welcomed by two sitting side by side on a couch. After exchanging pleasantries, as he prepares to inject the hitman with another dose of the poison, shocked to see this, but soon realizes that a rival gang standing behind scene. We see that Chev spared Kim's life and asked the gang leader to the entire time. Pretty good twist for a movie this stupid. Han so and his men, as the gang scatters to dodge the oncoming shots, and a wall, and calls his pilot to land a helicopter on the roof. A few seconds him, just as he enters the helicopter. Right then, Ricky sneaks Bird Hitman to shoot the ringleader in the chest. Ricky throws Carlito's body. The two men have a fist fight high up in the sky and eventually fall revenge mission. Shortly after, Chev lands on a car and bounces alive. Still Jason Statham and still a god you for watching.